ladies and gentlemen, good morning everyone to honorable lecture Mem Esa. First of all, let us say thank you to Mighty God because of his blessing, my friends and I able to do this presentation. So, this presentation is talk about our critical journal review. Before we start, let me introduce my team. I'm Yesha Tavia as speakers and moderator, Vira Aisha Melani as speakers, Nazwa Adinda as speakers, Novika Sarmoli Panggabean as speakers, Siti Sri Huayuni as speakers, and the last, Putriani as speakers. Without further ado, let's get started. Hello, my name is Vira Aisha Melani. I'm the first presenter. First of all, I would like to provide information on the journal under review. This journal discussed the International Journal of Research in Marketing entitled Digital Marketing Communication in Global Marketplace, a review of extant research, future direction, and potential approaches. The authors of the article are first, Venka Sanka from Texas A&M University, United States, second, Drew Crewa from Babson College, United States, third, Sarang Sander from Texas Christian University, United States, fourth, Beth Fosson from Indiana University, Bloomington, United States, five, K. Peters from the University of Hamburg, Germany, six, Ahmed Agarwal from Georgia State University, United States, and this article was published in the year 2022 by Elsevier, number 39 and digital object identified 10.1016. Let's immediately describe the contents of the journal. There is abstract. The abstract of this article provides an overview of the key points that are covered in the paper. The abstract highlights the importance of digital marketing communication through digital or electronic media among business and consumers. It's growing rapidly, especially during the COVID-19 era. And in the context of global marketplace and identify some of the key challenges that companies face in this area. It also previews uh, the organizing framework that is proposed in the paper and provides a brief summary of the extant literature that is reviewed. Then there is introduction. The introduction of the article provides a more detailed overview of the background and context for the study. It discusses the growing importance of digital marketing communication in global market place and identifies some of the key trends and development in this area. The introduction also highlights uh, the need for a comprehensive review of the extant literature on this topic and previews uh, the key contribution that the article makes. Then for an organizing framework of digital communication research, the article proposed an organizing framework for digital communication research that is based on four key components, the sender, the message, the channel, and the receiver. The framework emphasizes the importance of understanding how this component interact in the context of global marketplace. Digital marketing communication spans for diets. First, business to consumers, second, business to business, third, consumer to consumers, and last, consumers to business. They select these four diets because they are the most commonly used sender receiver pairs in digital marketing communication. Within each diet, they summarize prior researches' key findings, highlighting the managerial insight and identifying the research gaps, in particular in the global context. Based on the gaps, they list several important research questions and directions. They identified five main depths. First, digital communication strategies. Second, ethical issues in digital communication. Third, customer interaction with brands through digital communication. Fourth, the influence of digital platforms on consumer behavior. And the last, five, uh, the impact of the digital environment on consumers purchasing the session. Some of these terms include the role of culture in digital marketing communication, the use of social media in global marketplace, and the effectiveness and different digital marketing strategies. And 
They also offer directions for future research and teach them. This framework can assist researchers and practitioners in understanding and managing digital marketing communication in the global market. That's all from me. Thank you. Well, for the next part, will be delivered by my friend Putri. Hi, my name is Putri Ani and I will explain about the topic Business to Customer Digital Interaction 1. Goals The goal or digital B2C communication depend on the stake in the software Solving funnel and typically include an engine and awareness, a judgment, experience, and cohesion or detection. 2. Display advertising. Display it can in as screen recognition and transfer inners as well as lead to improve purchase for north purchase funnel of time recce from ever north to interox to further inter three email advertiser email marketing is a profitable tactic used by marketers Hi, my name is Sofika Sarmoni Pangabean. I will explain about the next topic. 4. Search Engine Communication Digital communication through search engine consists of search engine optimization and search engine advertising. 5. Mobile Communication Sankar and Bala Subramanian propose a purchase funnel framework for understanding mobile communication which has been extended to mobile shopper marketing and to mobile advertising. 6. Social media advertising Social media advertising comprises banner ads in social media platform and film generate content. 7. Media synergies Digital communication may work synergistically, antagonistically, or in a catalytic way. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Adinda, I want to explain the next material. A. Content. The content significantly determines activism of digital marketing communication. And 9. Response. The hierarchy of the effect dimension, customer experience, and customer engagement goals are mostly intentional customer require contracts for measurement research directions goals first brand activism example how should embrace digital brand activism and how should mini touch the risk the brand locally and brand globally second global customer lifestyle management example how do digital goals vary by the customer lifestyle uh, are the country and the culture? And the third, media, platform, and channel contribution of media, example, mobile. And the last, digital media, example, email. Summary Overall, research on B2C digital communication is prolific and exhibiting all the major dams but almost of the relates to local context and does not fully leverage context communication global reach because different in culture digital media and development stage offer scope communication in global reach the next business is Business to business or B2B digital interactions, B2B digital communication strategy, goals, 
unlike most the B2C communication context, a B2B needs from the customized in digital communications uh, for buying the center members and various stakeholders and involved in the organization buying process. That's all from me, the next material by Yesi. Hi, I'm Rachel Tafia and I will explain about the next topic. Communication, channels, media, and platforms. Communications, channels, media, and platforms, an important structural shift in B2B markets is the emergence of intermediaries who provide comparative information about sellers offering in real time and earn money for directions web traffic to the firm. B2B digital communication strategy. Content. Content B2B digital communications content differs from B2C content. In contrast, things, the social media content of B2B and B2C marketers, Swanee find that B2B marketers tend to use more emotional appeals and highlight corporate branding more than B2C marketers. Responses an operational or customer facing perspective, digitization facilitates data captures, allowing empirical study to address multiple B2B digital communications strategy that generates measurable customers' responses. Kumar proposed a dynamic optimization framework for marketing communications digital and non-digital research allocations and emphasize the importance of accounting for the long-term effect of marketing. Research Directions Goals First, digital communication goals for global markets. Second, digital communication goals in the presence of rapidly changing global supply chains. Channels, media, and platforms. First, global technology adaptations and B2B communication strategy. Second, platform designs and communication facilitations because of AI driven communications. And last, content standardizations versus localizations, decisions on B2B digital communication content the role of virtual sailing in B2B communications. Responses Empirical generalizations of digital communication responsiveness in B2B context. The impact of global B2B digital communications failures on firm outcomes. Summary In summary, research on B2B digital marketing is conceptual Usually scores. Peer studies address barely two themes, website effectiveness and social media, and rarely address global issues despite the growing influence of globalization on digital marketing strategies. C to C digital communication strategy. Goals. The typical goals of consumers when they communicate digitally with others are to inform, entertain, consume, and express themselves. The weight of the goals of C2C communication stands in contrast to those of the B2C and B2B diets, which are more focused on marketing. Hi everyone, my name is Safika Samuli Pangabean and I will explain about the next topic. 
2. Communication channels, media, and platform. Consumer motivation help shape the media and platform used in C2C communication. 3. Content. The refined actionable insight from UGC reminds a challenging text to the unstructured format of its content. Research on the synergy of different content types is in its early stage. The next is response. UGC has significant effect on important film and customer-centric outcomes. For example, posts with high-quality image increase social media adjustment, but the extent of sharing is driven by message content and its fit with the user. Next is respond. First, greater clarity about the role and impact of various format of UGC at different stage in the product life cycle. Second, cross-country impact of C2C behavior. Third, influencer marketing. Next is goals. First, impact of privacy concern on UGC or C2C goals. Second, causal effect of cultural dimension on UGC goals. Third, a deeper understanding of network effect on UGC goals and identification of the right type of influencer across countries. Next is channels, media, and platform. First, synergistic impact of UGC across platform. Second, influence of various digital channel or platform lever factor. Third, monitor C2C to improve user well-being. Next is content. First, synergistic impact of different UGC format. Second, means to extract relevant dimension and insight from UGC across country. Third, authenticity of UGC across countries and cultural, especially for influencer marketing. After that, we have summary. Research in this domain mainly address UGC, the finding from relevant studies offer interesting insight into how the user of digital device, media, and platform have exploited and how engaged they are. They also show that consumers extensively communicate with one another through user group, network, and communities. The next slide is Customer to Business Digital Interaction or C2B Digital Communication. The first is Goals. The typical goals of C2B Digital Communication are to provide feedback to business and seek resolution to customer problems. Second is Communication Channels, Media, and Platform. Consumer rapid adoption of mobile technology like smartphone, tablet, and others, and data consumption have sparked an interesting in determining how their communication pattern with film differ across device. Third is content. Social media research highlight how text meaning capabilities derived from linguistic based dictionaries over a useful way from films to analyze the content in consume, digital posts, and develop suitable response. Four is response. Appro appropriate film response are the most commonly desired outcomes of C2B communication. The next slide is research direction. Goals. First, film understanding of customer. Objective. Second, improve offerings. Next is channels media platform. First, C2B communication through IoT. Second, C2B interaction among different devices. Next is content. First, integration of content across different content types, media, and interface. Second, detecting fake review. The next is respond. First, film respond to customer communication through mobile device. Second, co-creation and co-production initiative. Third, automation of monitoring and respond to C2B. Four, framework of C2B communication. Next is summary. 
Relative to C2C communication, research on C2B digital communication is somewhat limited, focusing mainly on the social media time. Okay, I think that's all from me. Thank you. Thanks to the moderator for the opportunity. My name is Siti Sriwahini and I'm the last presenter. I will present the results of the journal we have reviewed. First, I will explain a summary of the material that was explained by my friend before. The summary in this section explains the limitation of C2B research because in relation to C2C communication, it mainly focuses on social media depth. This gap is surprising because digital channels, media, and platforms offer multiple ways for customers to communicate with companies. The next material is about potential approaches to address future research questions. The journal discussed the suggest approaches under three important elements. First, substantive issues, data, and methods and model. First, substantive issues. The substantive issues for future research exhibit several common themes. First, different firms may have different people responsible for digital marketing communication in global markets. For standardized global brands such as those for perfumes and smartphones, a global digital communication executive will be most appro appropriate. In contrast, for customized global brands such as those for food and other culturally sensitive products and service, the responsibility could be decentralized across countries. Second, research on emerging media and platforms such as LOT, wearables, VR, and AR is nation with the search in LOT communication among digital devices need to be studied in greater depth. It also highlights the need to understand the links between LOT communication and how they influence customer outcomes and firm outcomes. Third, as customers use different media and platforms seamlessly to browse, engage, or purchase synergies or cannibalization across these media and platforms need greater attention. Future work could focus on analyzing the combined effects of these fake files in a narrow setting that is more feasible. Fourth, digital communication attribution needs greater research attention. Also, it is still challenging to develop a comprehensive approach to attribution. Future research could take cracks at different slices of this problem. After generating a critical mass of studies, the global attribution problem can be solved through a meta analysis of such studies. 5. There is an implicit threat of uh, between standardization, standardization and customiza customization of digital marketing message. While media and channel fragmentation allow for greater personalization, brands should also create a strong and consistent posi position across customers. 6. Lamberson and Stephen identified the role of digital, social media, and mobile marketing strategies for the three five year period from 2010 to 2015 as a facilitator of individual expressions, a decision support tool, and a marketing intelligence source, respectively. Next material is data. This section describes how to answer important future questions. This journal presents several points, including First, should strive for data integrity. With more digital data being collected collect by big tech companies like Google and Facebook, marketers and researchers will need to conduct appropriate data audits to ensure that data quality maintained. Second, digital marketing academics and uh, practitioners 
should collaborate and create acceptable metrics and standards. Uh, third, to better understand the effects of digital communication, communication research uh, should try triangulate using different data types such as desktop clickstream data, mobile clickstream data, transaction data, and attitudinal data. Fourth, because data on international digital marketing campaigns are difficult to obtain, researchers could partner with platform companies, trade association, and marketing and advertising or organizations to collect such data. They could supplement such data with web or social media scraped, scraped data across countries. And the last material is methods and model. This section describes to tackle the substantive future issues, researchers need to enhance current methods as well as use new methodological tools. Given the continuing rise in data volume, the use of ML models that can more deeply explore digital media data will be on the rise. Furthermore, file experiments are increasingly easier to perform in digital channels and platforms so they will also likely grow in popularity. One approach is casual ML modeling which allows researchers to combine ML models with casual models that use panel accuracy experiments and files experiment data to deeply understand the effects of the driver. And the last part, I will explain the advantage and disadvantage of the journal that we have reviewed first. The advantage of the journal, in our opinion, uh, the journal has several advantages, namely, first, the journal provides a comprehensive review of extant research on digital marketing communication in global global mar marketplace. This could be helpful for readers who want to get an overview of the current state of knowledge on this topic. Uh, second, the journal uh, identifies potential areas for future research and suggests potential approaches to address those research gaps. Third, the journal is written in a clear and concise manner which market markets is easy for readers to follow the arguments and understand to key points. Next is the disadvantage of journals. After reviewing the journal, we found several disadvantages of the journal. Namely, first out of the journal provides a comprehensive review of extant research. There is a lack of empirical evidence to support some of the claims made in the article. This could weaken the credibility of the argument present. Second, the journal focus on digital marketing communication in global marketplace, which could uh, limit its relevance to readers who are interested in another aspect of digital marketing specific region. Okay, uh, that's all from me. Then I'll return it to the moderator. Thank you. The conclusions of this presentation is we have reviewed representative research across the B2C, B2B, C2C, and C2B diets on digital communication in local and global contexts. Most research pertains to a national level rather than a global level, despite that closeness of national boundaries for digital marketing. We have identified pressing questions that warrant additional research across all the diets. I think that's all from group 2. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. See you.